So it was a rough evening for you. I mean, did you did you feel uncomfortable? What what was the main factor that led to you know the struggles today? Um, I think I just missed some throws. Uh, I gotta trust um, some plays more. Trust that they're gonna be there. Um, trust my training, and uh, I think I got away from that a little bit um, with my footwork kind of messing up or leaving the pocket too early. So uh, those are those are things I can correct. Phil, you targeted Bob 11 times tonight, and he didn't record a catch. Why was there such a disconnect, and where do you think that disconnect came into play? Um, you know, we, we've we've made a lot of plays uh, in practice, and the way that they were playing, they were giving us the fade and the go. So we were going to continue to take those shots, and I know we're going to get it right. And whenever we do get it right, um, it's going to be hard for teams to cover. What do you guys have to do to find the rhythm in your offense? It seemed like some of your bigger plays, at least early on, came when you, got, when you guys had, had to improvise because the play broke down. But I've seen you guys make plays in rhythm on time. What do you guys have to do to get back to that? Right. Um, like I said, uh, some of my, f my footwork was, was bad at times. And um, I don't know. We have to look at it to, to see uh, what our best stuff is. And yeah, I got to watch the film. But um, I was out of rhythm. And so I got to take blame for that. What do you have to say to your players for next week to inspire them to play better? What are you going to say to make them have a more positive attitude as we're going into a game against one of your arch rivals? Yeah, I'm excited to play on the road. I've always liked playing on the road. and. You know, after tonight, I'm excited to play on the road. You gonna tell your players and hope that they're excited to play on the road as well. Yeah, we're gonna get ready. So, why do you like to play on the road? It's fun playing on the road. Phil, it's tough to ask this, but I mean, I'm sure you heard some some booze today. I mean, how mm -hmm. how do you react to that in your second game here at Pitt? Yeah, uh, you know, I think if you're a grown ass man booing in that stadium. And you gotta, you gotta look at things yourself. I think that's pathetic. But you know what? We didn't play well enough, so um, we're gonna be better. Did the uh, trouble establishing the run game affect you at all early on? Yeah, I, and I think uh, I can be stronger in the run game. And uh, I, I would like, obviously, the fumble was bad. It was just bad ball security on my part, and. Uh, I can also kind of attack more um, in the run game. Phil, Phil what, did it, what did BJ look like as far as the continuity in the offensive line, a true freshman in his second game, starting amongst a whole bunch of guys that have played several games? Um, he, I thought he pl looked pretty good, but we got to look at the, the tape. It's hard, to, it's hard for me to, to say right now. One more. Phil, what made Cincinnati's pass rush so effective tonight, in your opinion? Mm, I'm not sure. I, again, I have to look at the, the film. I have to see if, if there are any protection adjustments I could have made. Um, I know I, I can get the ball out sooner, and that's what I was talking about, the, the trusting some of these plays and, and just being on time and getting the ball out. When I hold on to the ball, uh, I'm going to take sacks.